let it expire. Rick Walk. All right, we're live. Good evening, everyone, from Fred Summers Court on the campus of Wilmington High School. We've got boys hurricane basketball. Last game of the season, senior night. Uh, this is what they call the crossover game. Uh, this game is a game that uh, will be between uh, equal teams as far as team records or very similar records, uh, and that will be against the Blanchester Wildcats. So even though... Uh, even though uh, they're in the small school division, Blanchester in these crossover games, the small school plays the uh, the big school in their sort of equal uh, uh, wins and losses type of uh, situation. So anyway, uh, uh, we've got Joe Davis going to do the play-by-play, -play, and we've got Troy Deals at some point going to get over here, and he's going to be doing the color. Uh, and we'll get the, un the game underway in about 10 and a half minutes. Uh, so in ten and, ten and a half minutes, we'll be ready to rock and roll here from uh, Fred Summers. I've heard it a couple different ways. My line. Okay. And then when they did, went down there and told them who the starters were, they said, well, I like to fish. Somebody from Blanchester told us that. Uh, so I, I said, I was told why line by two yeah. Blanchester people. Yeah. I'm doing on air. I want to say his uh, name right. Uh, one of the reminders tonight, tonight is uh, audio only on CampusNation.com. The video will be available tomorrow afternoon. And uh, we are, of course, on WZAA 106.9 LPFM in Jeffersonville, Ohio. So audio both on WZAA and also on CampusNation.com. Uh, and programming notes, uh, we will be doing uh, girls tournament basketball action. This will be East Clinton this coming Tuesday. And that game where I think we're going to probably be on the air about 6 o'clock, 6.15. That game gets underway at 6.30. And uh, then we will be back to uh, Lakota East on Wednesday. Uh, that game is a 7.30 start. Uh, we'll probably be on the air a little before that, maybe 7.15. Uh, once again from Lakota East. And that will be the uh, Hurricane Girls. And they will be playing the Mason Comets. Uh, and then next Saturday, these same boys will be starting their tournament action at 3 o'clock. So we'll be on the air probably at about, oh, 2.30, 2.45. And we will be at Mason High School for that game. Uh, and they will be facing uh, Cincinnati Aiken High School. So uh, all that tournament action coming up next week on CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school, college, and semi-pro sports and WZAA 106.9 LPFM in Jeffersonville, Ohio. At least you didn't say semi-pro announcing. No, no, we are the only real professional Please. broadcast crew in Clinton County Correct. and Fayette County. Actually, probably Southwest Ohio. Does that sound about that right? That sounds about right to me. That's what I thought. I'm gonna adjust this. But anyway, so uh, I think Troy will be down here. I think what he's doing right now is Jeff had some other things he had to finish up uh, and uh, as soon as uh, well, he's looking, working like he's working hard down there. Yes, he, he <laughs> always does, of course. Very difficult, uh, the job that uh, athletic directors have. Did you go over the records? I have not said anything about the teams other than it's Blanchester, the Wildcats, and Wilmington, the Hurricanes. Did you mention the reserve game? I did not mention the rever reserve score. Reserve score was very close, and when it finished, there was, it was 46-46. Player went up to shoot a shot, hit under the rim, came down, grabbed a his own Wilmington rebound. Player. Wilmington player, excuse me. Wilmington player went up to shoot the ball with 3.1 seconds on the clock, threw it in, he drove to the basket, went up for a layup, but hit under the rim, came down, grabbed his own rebound, went to put it up. As he went to put it up, he was fouled and the whistle was blown. The horn then went off and Lanchester uh, was not happy. They said the horn would already went off and there was no foul. And, uh, that but, wasn't but we know better because we were eyewitnesses to it and obviously 
Uh, we have seen so many basketball games. Oh, yeah. I've, what, I've seen like 86,000 of them. At least, uh, at least. Because most of them I was referring. Yeah. Um, and Poor, that, poorly. But, 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 it, but it, was a good, it was a good call. And the player missed the first one but made the second one with no time left on the clock. Right. So, therefore, the game was automatically over as soon as he made the foul shot. Right. If he would have made the first one, he would not even have shot the second one. He would have. That's right. It would have the game. Over. Game would have still been over by one point, right? Right. Yeah. And going into this game, Wilmington is eight and ten on the year, five and five in the league. Blanchester is ten and ten on the year and seven and five in the league. So. Very close uh, records in the league. Yeah. Uh, very close record overall. Wilmington has played some very, tough very teams. tough teams uh, out of the league. Two defending state champions, yes. to be exact. Played Moeller and uh, played, um, yeah, the other Cincinnati team. Uh, that was the Division Four uh, state team. State team. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so uh, Wilmington, uh, you know, had did play a very, very tough. And they've been playing very good basketball down the road here the last several games. I don't know what Blanche, you know, got Blanchard's record. I don't know what they are the last three, four games. Are they <laughs> winning the last, you know, are they, which way are they going? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, and, I mean, they, they are the small school division. They do play smaller schools. Right. Uh, uh, Georgetown is a force, though, in their, uh, in their side of the, of the d division, I guess you could say. Right. Now, that's the national division, right? Right. We are in the American division as far as the big schools. They play uh, Williamsburg, Felicity, East Clinton. Uh, Georgetown. Bethel, Georgetown, where uh, Wilmington is playing Batavia, Goshen, and Georgetown, Georgetown is playing uh, Clinton Massey tonight. So uh, and that, Clinton Massey's in that big, big school. Yeah. So, uh, you know, in in retrospect, this could be a very, very good basketball game. If you got the two winning champions playing against each other, right? And you also got two county rivals playing against each other. And they're close, so you got a lot That's of fans. True. Yeah, oh yeah. And uh, the Blanchester fans, like so many of the fans in the county, <laughs> they're extremely, thank you. Thank uh, you. They are extremely vocal, and they are behind us. I asked the coach. So you, you may hear them behind us, uh, and we disavow anything they say that is one of the seven words uh, that you're not supposed to say on the radio. <laughs> and one of them, one of them is... When they've got the ball, uh, when we've got the ball, is the word foul. That that's not in that's not in the language. That's right. Or three seconds, yeah. or any of the other traveling. Right. <laughs> Anything else that they? Uh, oh, Troy's bringing his own water. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh no. No, he's handed he's it off. This is to the uh, score keeper from uh, Blanchester. Troy's always taking care of his duties. That's why he gets the big bucks. Well, his buddy's back, so he should be, Mike's back, so he should be able to come on over. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's, uh, you know, maybe it's either he's forgotten or maybe he figures that he's, there's no point in uh, coming over until we're ready to start the game. <laughs> he's like, I don't he want to, I don't want to set my joke. <laughs> he, he is the color commentator, and so when it comes to color, you know, we don't need any color right now, right? I think, he, yeah, he's figuring game ain't started. Why do I need to be there? Right. He knows that we're just BSing this whole uh, 10, 15 minutes before the game starts, right? Right. We've got three minutes to go before the horn goes for them to come over. And, and it's going to be a while because we're probably going to announce the seniors before, and then we got the Star Spangled Banner. So it's, this is going to be a little Drawn longer. out. In fact, in fact, Troy may be involved in that, uh, you know, the announcing and everything. Right. I don't know. Because of the seniors. Yeah. So and so if that's the case, he can't come over until after he takes care of uh, – the many duties of the uh, athletic director. Uh, he was asking me if I, in a roundabout way, was complimenting him because what I was telling him was, or what I was making a general statement to the people that were sitting down there, uh, that um, most athletic directors, you know, like when you call about the tournaments or you call trying to set up a game or whatever, they never call you back. Yeah. Uh, and you always, and, and, you know, they never acknowledge that they got your email or they got your, your message or whatever. And so you end up going 
in the back of your mind wondering if they know you're coming, you know, to, for the game. Right. And, uh, uh, and and of course, Troy has always responded immediately. Anytime I have ever, you know, Troy is a professional at his position. That's right. I've got him that's on my true. I've got him on my speed dial. Yeah. Oh, we got to quit talking about him. He's here now. Uh, we're down to a minute and a half to go. And evidently the senior part portion of this post, is going to be post-game. Post game, right. So we have not got confirmation that Troy will be available for us. I think he's figuring that... Uh, this is night game or... The crowd may be Rick too Lake, rowdy. Dwayne Cumberland and Rodney Captain. Spangle Banner before the game. Getting ready to have the teams announce. I'm not sure the Blanche ever have any cheerleaders. I don't see any. No, they didn't, they didn't bring the cheerleaders. They said it wasn't on their Oh my God. I you nice. Uh, wasn't on Blanchester cheerleading schedule, so the cheerleaders yeah, didn't come. All right, so now we'll have the starting lineup here. Number 12, Tanner Krager. Blanchester, number three, Ian Haig. Tanner Krager, number 12. Number 22, Braden Sipple. Number 23, Jackson Wiley. And number 42, Hunter Bear. Hunter, 6 4. At guard, 6 foot senior, number 3, Willie Morris. Number 3, senior Willie Morris for Wilmington. At guard, 6 2 junior, number 4, Cameron Coomer. Number 4, junior, Cameron Coomer. Cam. Number 10, 
6'3", Junior Chris Custis. Or as Lexi would say, Custis. Custis, that's <laughs> right. I told him about that in the past. Sam Jacob B, or excuse me, Sam, Sam Jacob Yansky, number 21, and uh, number 33, Matthew Butcher, a sophomore. Jacob Yansky is a senior. Butcher is jumping. Butcher 6'6", six, six, jumping against 6'4", Hunter Bear. All right, ready for some basketball. And the tip off tipped again, and Wilmington has the tip off. Starting with Cam Coomer. Top of the key, throws it to the right side to Custis. Custis back to Willie. Willie passes over to the other side to Jacob Yansky. Back to And Willie's got the ball now on the white side. Throwing over to Butcher, takes the long three and swoosh. Lanchester bringing it in, number 12, Tanner Krager. Passing around, number 23 has it, Mr. Jackson Wiley. Let's go, come on. Jim passes around, jump shot by number 22, in and out. Rebound, number three, 22 was simple. Look, oh, wow. Off the rim. Again, Wiley tried the long three, he missed. Back over to Cam Coomer, back over to Butcher, in and out. Ball go. Oh. Thought he was gonna get I thought that. he was gonna go get it, but uh, didn't see it. Blanchester's got it, driving. Number three shoots, uh, shoots an air ball. Passes it out. In and out again. They like their threes. Yep. And Jacob Yansky with the rebound to Cam Coomer, drives in, goes up, ball's blocked. Here comes Wiley back down with the ball. They've got the Sutter trees. Step, throws it over. Tanner Krager and ball hits and bounces up over the backboard. Hey, Wilmington bringing the ball in. Cam Coomer has it, dribbling slowly up the court. Going to pass off to Willie Morris. He brings over the timeline. And over to Jacob Yansky, right top, over to Cam, the left, down the butcher on the left side, into the corner to Jacob Yansky. And he's looking around, gonna throw it over to this side. Morris, Cam Coomer drives, puts it up, and bounces out, bounces around and out. Of. So here comes Blanchester down, left-hander driving the lane. They're fast. And he is quick, he saw the opening and took it. That's Ian Haig. Cam Coomer down to Willie Morris, back to Cam. Over the top of the key, left side, down the corner, Butcher. Looking around, dribbling slowly out, back through the corner to Willie, who takes the three, hits and bounces off. And here comes Blanchester, Wiley has the ball. Over here to Haig, Haig drives again. Uh, he sort of got in uh, no man's land, but threw it away, but Blanchester was able to pick the ball up. Wiley got it, over to Tanner, Cra uh, Tanner um, Krager. And they're sort of caught up. Simple, there goes the ball loose, there goes Willie diving. He gets it, flips it up to Cam Coomer, puts it in too. And here comes... Uh, was that a travel joke? No, it was not a travel. I know, I know. There must be different rules in Blanchester for basketball. <laughs> Wilmington has it, throws it out to Cam, almost throws it away. Down to Chris Custis. Chris Custis dribbles out top of the key, stops, throws it back to Butcher, down to Jacob Yansky, who drives, throws it over the corner. Back out to Morris. Back to Coomer, who throws it from one corner to the other corner. Jacob Yansky drives, stops, flips it back to Coomer, who throws up the three from the corner, bounces around, Bam! and in! Oh my God! Blanchester calling a timeout. And Blanchester calls a T.O. timeout. Score, Wilmington 8, Blanchester 2. We're around six minutes to go in the game. <laughs> I 
know you can hear that. Ah, uh, yes, we can hear. Well, because that other mic is open. Oh, that's that's what we get up. Sorry um, for all the talking and then the dead air because I don't have a collar, man, so I don't have anybody to <laughs> fill, up my, fill up my space there. Well, Troy's got to hold the wall up down there. He does. He's doing a good job <laughs> of that, too. Oh, gosh. Here comes Wiley to throw it in for Blanchester. Pressure by the Hurricane. Throws it in to Sipple and gets it over to Tanner Crager. Throws it inside. Block oh, foul by Willie Morris. Yeah, that was a, that was a foul. I mean, Willie Morris went up to block the 6-4 Hunter Bear, and uh, Bear's going to be shooting two. And he missed the first one. <clears throat> first one. Uh, got a frog in your throat? Uh, something in there. Sort of squeak. One of those squeaky toys. Hunter Bear still bear at the foul line. And makes the second one. Well, it's eight to three. Eight to three. Here comes Wilmington down the floor. Willie has it left side. Throws it the corner to Butcher, who puts up another three in and out. Bounces around. Jacob Yansky puts it in. Nice follow up with Jacob Yansky. Hurricane wearing their white, trimmed in black and orange, and Blanchester wearing their blue, and they've got sort of a gray numeral and trim. And Wilmington steals the ball. Knocked away by Jacob Yansky. Picked up by Willie. Throws it over to Butcher to Cam Coomer. He's gets tossed up. and tied up, and he's in the middle. And there's nothing you can do there but call timeout because you're going to get three seconds eventually. Three Here points. Off the rim. Long shot by Sipple. Oh, he's trying oh, man. to pull his way in. He was bullying. He was pushing Cam back. Number 42, Hunter Bear got the basket. I mean, he just put his shoulder in and went. Get out of my road. Willie, oh, Willie almost had a three, a long three. Still 10 to five. Wilmington's had some great looks for threes. They, they have had some nice they just, and, they're, and they've all been like in and out real close. Coomer with the rebound. Here comes Wilmington down, goes straight in, puts it up, followed by Butcher, knocked loose and out by Blaine. Uh, Blaine and, and Butcher was fouled. Wasn't called, but he was fouled. Per Rick. I didn't they, see it. That was a push from behind. I, I couldn't see it. I'm not going to say I, it wasn't there. I just said I couldn't see it. Here comes Willie to throw it in. There's a lot of action under the basket. And then Sweeney. Quick, and Sweeney hits the three. And immediately, I mean, he's just in the game. Boom, quick. He's, he's one of Lexi Doddridge's favorite players. Oh, there's a charge. Yes. Nice call. Butcher is going to set up and boom. Foul's on number 21. Hurricane leading oh, 12, excuse me. 13 to 5 with 2.37 remaining in the first period of play. Each team has one foul. Tanner Craig with one foul. And Willie Morris with one foul. Willie has the ball top of the key, throws it over to Coomer. Will Greening! Will Shoots that time he overshot the basket. Had too much time. You could think about it too much. Tanner Craig. A new player in the game. Gets it out to Sipple. To Ashcraft. Three. And Custis or Custis, however we want to say it. <laughs> it's Custis. Or Curtis, as I called him one game. Uh, we'll get we'll, we'll just say tomato, we'll, get him, right? we'll get him all ways. We'll make sure he's got airtime. Oh, we, 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 oh that that's pass. a foul. Well, down down. Will instead of getting down in front of him was like gliding beside him to block it and went in for the basket. Thirteen to seven, one thirty-six remaining in this first quarter. Hurricane in the lead. Willie Morris with the ball back to the top of the key to Cam over to There's Sweeney. Sweeney drives, passes it out to Custis. Ball smacked out. 
Jump ball. Yep. Oh, no, time out. Timeout. Blanchester he, had possession. He, didn't have, he had possession? Yes. All right. He had it cuddled in. Wilmington was going in to get the tie, but before they got there, he called timeout. Now, when you say he had it cuddled in, yeah. was that like in a spoon or what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I wanted to clarify that. What? Coach is trying to work the uh, ref. Oh, you're right. I thought you were sub. I thought you were sub. I'm telling him to go down. Oh, you're the guy taking the ball out of bounds. All right, you're, you can be there. All right, right in front of us, uh, Bland taking it in. Wildcats. Uh, you got him on cam right there? I got him on camera. All righty. Willie Morris uh, protecting. Simple throwing it in. Guarded by Sweeney. Tanner Craig. And okay, they're all over this Simple. Is, now that was a that's, bump. That's going to be a foul on uh, Willie. Willie Morris. That's going to be his second foul. Yep. It's a block. So, I mean, two fouls for the Hurricane, a foul for the Wildcats. 13 to 7 with 104 remaining. It's going to be a two shot foul. And. Bricks the first one. Well, uh, I, their varsity is sort of like their reserve team. They are very spotty as far as uh, their free throw shooting. That may hurt them down the way. That's yeah. what happened in the first in the uh, in the reserve game. And makes the second one. And Wilmington has the ball back. Uh, Willie has it. Throws it over to Jacob Yansky down to the left side to Butcher. Back out over here to Willie. Down to Jacob Yansky on the right side. Dribbling around the top. Need to start getting hot from the three-pointer. Yeah. Throws it inside the butcher and blocks. Oh, that, was, that, that, was, that was a clean block. That was a good clean block. Oh, that looked like goaltending to me. Nope. Ball was still going up. He flips it back in. Butcher saves it. Wilmington now has the ball. Oh, thought uh, Jacob Yansky was going to shoot one there. They can't go under as easy. They've got to shoot their threes and they got to make them. Yeah, and this you know, it's basically with this, the tall boy. They're going. They're not going to be able to go inside as well. No, no, no. Blanchester definitely has the height advantage. Jacob Yansky has the ball top, drives the middle. No, did a stop, jump stop. Ball's up, and here comes Blanchester. Crager's got the ball. Got it, gets it, knocks loose, and Willie's got the ball, and the time goes out. Wilmington leads 13 to 8 at the first quarter break. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal. You're home for high school, college, semi pro sports, and WZAA 106.9 LPFM in Jeffersonville, Ohio. Joe Davis doing our play by play tonight. I'm adding a little bit of color. We have a stationary camera, and uh, I'm using the floor camera. Uh, Charlie Hargrave, uh, for all those that are wondering where Charlie is, he is uh, conducting a car show tomorrow night, or tomorrow and uh, Sunday. Uh, so we invite all of you to head out to the Roberts Center on one of those two days and stop in and see a lot of great old cars. I think he says he's got uh, maybe 90 cars. Wow. I think it's five dollars, and you, and if you go Friday or Saturday, it's both, you can it's go, both back, days. You go back yeah. the next day with right. that with that entrance fee. Right. Um, and we. On Charlie's behalf, I want to give a, an apology out to Brady Vilvins because the last game we looked on the sheet and it had Cole Bernhardt as number 32, and it was Brady Vilvins in the game, sophomore, and we were giving highlights to the freshman doing great, and it was actually sophomore Brady Vilvins that was playing the good game, number 32, last week. Okay, so... We have corrected ourselves, even though yeah, it, I corrected it technically Charlie. wasn't our fault. Wasn't our fault. All right, Wildcats will have the ball starting the second quarter. Ooh, thrown in, almost stolen by Cam Kuma. Cam guarding. Prager has it, got knocked loose, but grabbed at Blanchester. Jake Yansky guarding him. He tipped that ball. Tipple being guarded by Coomer, goes up for the nice shot. shot. And now see, he's on his back. Now he was over, but he didn't, he wasn't, there was no contact there. More contact there than it wasn't called. 
Willie shot the ball, missed, and here comes Blanchester back to the other side. Wilmington hasn't scored for a while. No, it's been, been quiet for a long while. Blanchester, Krager had it, throws it back over to Sipple. Sipple driving in, throws it back out to Twilight. Back over to Krager, Tanner Krager. Gonna drive, gonna drive, gonna try to go up. There was nowhere to go. Wilmington, I mean, I don't know where he was going with that. He was behind no. the backboard and no, going no, he up. Was, it wasn't a good move that he made there, but uh, he was fortunate that the Blanchester. Well, that Wilmington knocked it out of bounds. Yeah, remained with the ball. Woo! And nice pass in to Tanner Krager, who made the basket. So it's 13 to 10, Hurricane in the lead. Cam Coomer. Coomer missed. We've got a and lot of three-pointers that have been gets close. It, knocks it loose to Sweeney. Well, we've had a lot of nice looks. Just can't get it to fall right now. Yeah, well, once we get hot, uh, it'll be... Uh, Butcher goes up, and he went up a little tentative because he got blocked last time and was a little short on that ball, that shot that time. Here goes Bear in, driving, puts it up, nice bounces. Move. Nice And he forced that up because there yeah, was a did. hand on that ball, yeah. and he still made it. Strong kid. Sweeney with the ball, top, bounces it over to Coomer, over to Jacob Yansky, top left. Throws it down the corner to Butcher. Brings the ball out to the top, throws it back to the corner to Cam, who look, drives in, throws it oh, out. Bad but pass, or bad. Uh, bad choice of pass, it was yeah. a bad pass. Custis ready to come in at the next whistle. Three. And 23, shoots a long three. Butcher with the rebound, here comes Sweeney. And that was Wiley that with the shot. Sweeney grows up, gets the ball blocked out. Jacob Yansky with the corner three. Got it. Push. Here comes Blanchester. Stolen by Jacob Yansky. Throws ahead to Butcher. Goes up, puts it nice in. Nice move. Nice move. Quick five points. Nice five. 18 to 12. Nice six point lead. Lamb was getting back in the game, and Wilmington starts stretching it back out again. Jake Yansky stops uh, Krager coming down. Krager with the ball top, top of the key. Throws it over to Ashcraft. I'll tell you what, there's some intense there is. defense going Wild on by the Hurricane. The down to Krager. Krager drives, gets it, knocks it loose from his hand. Here comes Butcher back down the floor. One bounce it over to Coomer. Sweeney. Jacob Yansky looking, goes in the middle, gets it over to the Big John. Big John Stewart puts it in. Seven straight points, 20 to 12. Here comes uh, Krager over with Blanchester. Oh, throws it away, throws it to Sipple, and he couldn't handle it. Tried to throw it away from the defense and just threw it out of bounds. Willie Morris back in the game. Great defense by the Hurricane. Cam Coomer back in the game. Oh no, Custis back in the game. Right, right. Going when I saw it. I... Cam is out right now. No, he's still in. No, Cam's in. Yeah. But he was already in, but I thought I, I didn't see uh, Custis. So we got Coomer, we got Morris, we got Custis, we've got uh, Stewart and Sweeney. And Sweeney. Up, oh, threw a pass, Sweeney couldn't handle. Lanchester takes it. Here comes, I think that's great. No, that's um, Wiley. Wiley with the ball. Oh, bad oh, pass, and they can't get it. Yep. Bland, just putting on a pressure defense. And, and they, they zigged when they should have zagged, yeah. huh? All right, Custis going to pass it into Sweeney. Sweeney with the ball, top of the key, throws over the right side to Willie. Look at inside, throws it over to the other side to Custis, who gives it to Coomer. And back over to this side to Willie. Back to, oh, it's stolen. Oh, and, nice. oh, and oh. back in. Back. Nice shot by Sipple. Pass it back out. Oh, knocked bad loose. Pass. That was knocked. It was Touched by Bland. Matt. 
Woodson coming back in for Stewart and Jake Yansky coming back in for Mr. Sweeney. Hurricane up by 6, 20 to 14 with 335 remaining in the first half of play. And with the ball, Jake Yansky looked to shoot, changes his mind, throws over to Butcher, who does go up Got and it. swoosh. Eight for Butcher. The three pointers are heating up, and if they do, they'll run Bland right out of the. Oh, man. Everybody on Wilmington team can shoot the threes, and if they all get hot at the same time, look out. Nice two-pointer. Nice little two-pointer by Haig. Ian Haig did a little fadeaway. Back out to Jacob Yansky, top of the key. Looking around, down the butcher. Back out to Jacob Yansky over here to Coomer, right side. Down the corner. Inside to Jacob Yansky, goes up. Foul, and fouled. gets fouled. Did a little fake. Gonna get a foul on Bear. Each team has two fouls. They've got a Prager and Bear. Wilmington's two are both on Willie Morris. And Jacob Yansky will be shooting two. First one, good. Swish. Coach is still from Blanchester trying to work the refs. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, second one, no good. Second one, no good, and uh, Glenn gets the ball. we got uh, Wiley bringing the ball up the court. 24 to 16, 243 the simple, remaining. Simple takes it down the lane. Oh, oh, where's this foul? Oh, he's going to call it out there. Gonna, gonna say, that was a great block by Custis. Foul's on three, so he's calling foul on Willie Morris. That's, that's gonna his be, third. That's going to be his third first half. He's going to take a seat. No, nope, he's staying in. Yeah, I do not understand. Well, I wonder if Coach Noska knows that he's got three fouls he on him. He may not realize that yet. Yes, correct. Oh, that's double dribble. Yeah. And oh. he loses it. He kept trying to dribble too much and just, just couldn't keep the handle. Oh, nice no. move by Willie Morris and a nice block by, was that uh, Sipple? Yes. Yeah, yeah Sipple. Every, every trip underneath the basket is going to be an well, adventure for Wilmington because uh, well, Sipple and Bear both are 6'4 and got Yeah, Blanchester long arms. definitely has the uh, the height advantage, especially with the kids that we've got out on the floor right now. Right. But if we can keep hitting these threes, we you know we get real warm with these threes, we're going to be yeah. in good shape. Long boom, he's in passing court, court, side court, inside the Coomer, inside the Jacob Yansky, nice basket. Good cut. And that's eight for Jacob Yansky. Here in the first half. The ball, He's guarding uh, Haig right now. Haig driving, dishes off, bad pass, almost stolen by Sweeney. Sweeney. Yeah. Thought about the three. There he goes, three. And Glenn got the rebound. Oh, oh there should have been a foul. Not called. That's crazy. There you go. Hey. We get a foul. It's going to be on Jacob Yansky here. Let's see. Yep, Jacob Yansky gets the foul call. I'll tell you what, there is some yeah, he threw a little action. I thought he threw a little shoulder. Oh, yeah, no in question. It was a it was, and it was a right in front of Cumberland, and he decided not to call that. Said no. He shook his head at the coach and no. Throwing it in, almost stolen by Butcher. Wiley has it, dishes it off to uh, Ashcraft, who gives it to Hagen. Oh, Hagen loses it. control. Wilmington has the ball. We're going to get a jump ball called. And the arrow is to uh, Wilmington. Wilmington. Brian just had the last one right here. 26 to 16, the Hurricane with a 10 point lead, a minute 30 left in this first half of play. And they did get Willie out there, last dead yeah, ball. Yeah. Here comes Cam bringing the ball up the court. Goes over to Jake Zubiansky to the right side, top. Looks over to the left, dribbles over the left side. Brings it back to the right side, throws it to Sweeney who goes up for three. Got it. Whoosh. Well, Hurricane are all, hitting on all cylinders from the threes. That's right. what they needed. And Blanchester having trouble dribbling the ball. They just keep losing control. Well, they're not quite as fast as the Hurricane. Good defense. Oh, oh. oh. 
It was off Chris. Chris says it ricocheted off him, off Blanchester, but the referee said no. It, it ricocheted off Chris and went out of bounds. Yeah, Bland is fast, but they are not as fast as the Hurricanes. And they're not and as good a ball handler. No, no, they're, no. They're no. losing control of the ball, trying to dribble through things. So right there, sip, I mean, Wiley almost, he almost lost, lost his He almost balance. lost his dribble. Yeah, when they dribble, they just almost lose the, just the dribble off their own bounds. And they have at times. Wiley with the ball out on the other side. In the simple and bad pass. Here comes Jacob Yansky looking, throws it over to Coomer, who goes up for the basket. Good teamwork. 31-16. And for anybody else listening, Savo. Remember, all this video will be available tomorrow afternoon on the Campus Nation website. And long bounce, thrown ball rolled in. Blanchester finally picks it up. And he, I thought there was like a travel. Traveled. Yeah, we both called that travel. Who gets the foul here, Butcher? I think so. 33 Butcher. Yeah, he, he, yeah we both saw the travel. Yeah. But they can't, they can't catch everything. No, no, no. And we won't throw anything. Charlie says because three officials. I told the officials last night, talking before the our game, I knew all of them, and we were talking, and they were like, no, nope, we don't even think about it. that. You know, you're just calling what you, what you see. Blanchester still having difficulty with their free throws. Bear missed the first one. And, and there's more. Seven taking. seconds, six seconds. Here goes Jacob Yansky driving, gets down to a knee, throws it out to Camp Coomer. Oh, almost made it at the buzzer. 31-16, Wilmington, one point from doubling up Lanchester's score here at halftime. Blanchester scored eight points the first quarter, eight points the second quarter. Well, they're even. Wilmington scored 13 points the first quarter and 18 points the second quarter. Score leaders for Blanchester at halftime from what I have. And I've got somebody, I'm missing somebody, so there's going to be somebody with short a basket here. I've got Krager with two, uh, four, Sipple with three, and Hunter Bear with five. Now they've got two guys with four, three and 12. So three, oh, three, oh yeah, it's already simple. I mean, Ian Haig has four. So four, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So I got 16, and that's what they got. So I didn't miss somebody. I'm so sorry. there you go, Joe. Yeah, perfect, didn't know it. And for Wilmington, Cam, I've got Cam Coomer with seven. I've got Sweeney with six. I've got Jacob Gansky with eight. I've got Butcher with eight, and I've got Stewart with two. All right. And that looks like I was checking the board to see if they agreed, and it looks like they do, so I'm okay there. Must be having some uh, audio tr troubles here. Eight, eight, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. I've got Joe, yeah, remarkable. And, and, and you, you didn't have that, to have your shoes didn't off. Take my you, shoes didn't off have have, you didn't have to have Charlie here. So are they starting this over? Yep. Surely they're doing a little dance routine at halftime. Joe, we don't need that. <laughs> I like to drive you crazy. Joe is looking around, seeing if there's anyone he can irritate. <laughs> now I'm looking up, seeing how many people I know up there. People looking down at he, me like, he what's he looking he, up here he, for? You hear him saying, very nice, very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to direct your attention to center court, where we would like to honor our boys' bowling team. Who is your place? Well, Joe, this is right up your alley. I have my <laughs> Bowling. Bowling. This team also captured the Muskingum Invitational Championship. 
Championship as well. Members of the bowling team are Mason McIntosh, Brayden Rhodes, Elijah Martini, Connor Mitchell, Jordan Tech. Some of the football players are Brandon out there on the bowling team. Grant Bear and Jake Frazier. I'd say about seven or eight of those boys are on the football team. They're on the bowling team. Ladies and gentlemen, let's congratulate your boys bowling team. That's, what is your favorite sport, Joe, of all the sports that you have coached in your illustrious Coach. career? Coached. 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 Uh, bowling. Bowling. Okay. Uh, Good answer. Since you currently I like are basketball. I mean, I referee basketball, but I've had a lot of basketball. I like bowling right now. In, bo in volleyball, I haven't never coached volleyball, but it's, you it's like one volleyball. of my favorites. It's one of my favorite sports now. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of favorite sports, there's a favorite sport coming up in spring, and that is lacrosse. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're all excited about that, that lacrosse gearing up again. Nothing like hitting someone over the head with one of those sticks. Oh, <laughs> don't give one to Mr. Roy, man. Can you see him with the lacrosse stick? Ha! He would go wild. Anytime you got a question about a call, just come and ask me. And I'll, I'll tell you, good call, bad call. Good, is that a good call, bad call? I'll let you know. I always say, do the reverse. See the call. Think, what if my team was the reverse? Yeah. Would I want it called on me? Yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. not. So, okay. <laughs> Joe, you're not going to win this one. <laughs> How many games did you foul out that I refereed? What's that? <laughs> How many games did you foul out that I refereed? I got no fingers and toes. <laughs> Well, he went to East Clinton, and it's yeah. the same way. Yeah. <laughs> I do great East Clinton maps. I, bowling, we went into the bowling thing, and I wrote down all the scores. You know, then I went ahead and added them up, handed it to them in the room. They right. Then they add them up, and then they got a computer there they put it into, and it dishes out the scores to me. I already had them wrote down <laughs> perfect every time. Oh, yeah, Joe. Well, you did keep a perfect score this first half. See? So. Told you. All right. Hurricane boys back out on the floor to warm up. 31 to 16, uh, your Hurricane in the lead. Got about four minutes till we start this second half of play. I see Grandma Butcher over there on the second row on the other side watching, clapping. Yeah. Got a good student section tonight on this Friday night. Hey, Joe. Oh, I, we, got a, I got a question for you, Joe. Are we getting a collar man in the second half? Oh, <laughs> Joe, Joe, oh. Joe uh, I, I forgot to ask you. You know, you were saying uh, that you were uh, you were free, and then you were saying uh, <laughs> at a cost. You, how did you word that at a cost? I said, are you said, can you are you available for tonight's game? I said, yes, I'm free at a cost. And I said, cost. So and you were like, question mark, question mark. You said food, drink. Is that what yeah. you said? Give me food and drink, yeah. and that's my. Uh, so that's did you see my answer? Yeah, let's go, and I'm going. Let's oh, go. where's that? B dubs. Isn't that I, what you I said? didn't send that text. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that came from Charlie. <laughs> I'm ready for my black and blue burger. I haven't, uh, I didn't eat anything after work just to prepare. Just to prepare, huh? Well, it's not a smorgasbord, Joe. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta order off the menu and you're only allowed one item. <laughs> and that doesn't include a drink. <laughs> I, I, get, I get a drink. Uh, Water. <laughs> uh, wedges and wings. Oh, gosh. Custis just hit a three. Willie just hit a three. Yeah, Jakey Bianchi just they're hit they're a three. Up. Butcher just let's hit a three. They, let's hope they do this in uh, in the real game, huh? And one of them that hit a three was um, Mr. Anacek that's not in the, hasn't been in the game yet. And for all of the people back in Serbia that's listening, if you're there or will be listening later on, uh, Savo to all of you. And what does that mean, Joe? It means hello. Hello. Okay. 
I've got to learn how to say goodbye, though. I don't know how to say goodbye. <laughs> I can say hello, but I can't say goodbye. Well, I can say it in Hawaiian, aloha. Aloha. And aloha I, can, and I, can say it, I can say it in Italian, Arriva Dirci. Arriva Dirci. I can, I, say I can say it in English. Adios. Bye. Hasta la vista. In, in Spanish, there's a lot of ways. Hasta la vista, till the view. You know, goodbye. I, well, you, know. you were speaking a lot of Spanish yesterday, last night, yeah. weren't you? Yeah. You and Charlie? You and Charlie. Yeah. I didn't know what you were saying. I don't I think said, you me guys amo, Jose Davis, que se amo usted. My name is Joe Davis. What is your name? A lot of little basketball players out here helping get the balls and stuff in. Must be about, I don't know, seven, eight years old there. I don't know, one of them I know was 11, so maybe they're a little older and I, they just look tiny to me. Might have been the uh, the, sixth, the fifth grade basketball team, you know, that would, could have been who that is, and they're all 10 and 11 years old then. Just a program note, we want to remind you that uh, we will be back here uh, at Wilmington High School on Tuesday night when East Clinton girls are in the tournament. Uh, that game will be a 6.30 game, and we'll be here play? covering it. Do we, do we know who they play? I, I'm not sure. I, I think it's C&E. Because I think C&E beat yeah, by, it, one by one point. By one point. By one point. Because I know there was a C&E played. And it was it was a higher uh, seeded team. Right. Uh, and I, the name I was it Madeira. C &E was it be, Madeira? Madeira, yes. Yeah. And I predicted it would be, <laughs> it would be C and E. Well, anyway, so uh, then Wednesday we've got Lady Kane tournament action again, and this is Lakota East. <laughs> At Lakota East. 31-16, as we start the third quarter, Blanchester bringing the ball in, throws it into Haig. Haig throws it over to Krager, over to Ashcraft. Back to Wiley, lobs it inside. And Jump ball. Wilmington steals oh, wow. it, no, they nobody got the handle it. of it. And Wilmington was the first to grab <laughs> the handle. Willie Morris with a three from the corner, overshoots. Oh, Butcher gets the rebound, goes up, off the rim. Blanchester gets the rebound. Simple. Here comes down to Wiley, looking to drive, and missed it. And here goes Cam Coomer. He's going to drive in. He's fouled. He's going to, oh, he's going to get called for a foul. I mean, not him, but uh, there was a foul. Yeah, he was fouled before the shot, I believe. Yeah, because I watched his upper body. I thought he fouled, but he was getting pushed. Yeah. That's what caused him to all of a sudden go that direction. And speaking of Mr. Enchek, he's, he's coming, coming in. in. Yeah. He's, he's coming in for Custis or no, no, Willie. For Willie Morris. So Marco Anisek. Check. Oh. Put back. Cust by missed and chopped. Uh, rebound by Custis or Custis. It's not Custis. <laughs> oh, I, his mom will be shooting me for doing this. He certainly, she certainly will. Oh, wow. Yeah, they could have got a foul called on Wiley there, but the referee ate the whistle on it. Trying to get the charge, but when you get it on the shoulder, you're going. it's going to be on you if it's on anything. So they're uh oh. And Jake Kibianski goes over to help out as Cam Coomer got beat. And the basket uh, is good. Basket's good by who was. Well, whoever comes to the line, Simple. number 22. Simple. All right, it's 35 to 18. Let's see how their free throw shooting is this second half. Make the basket, will he make the three point play? And no, he does not. Ball goes high out and they get the rebound. Wiley yeah. over Butcher gets the rebound. That's the only uh, good thing about their free throw shooting. It's terrible. Yeah. Wiley from the top of the key. Got it. Swish. That's the, I think that's Blanchester's first three-point basket of the might, night. Might be. They've, tr they've attempted several. They just yeah. haven't made any. 35-21, 14-point hurricane lead. Pass around Butcher, top of the key. Throws it over to Cam Coomer, right side. Jake Kibianski, top, over to Willie Morris, back in the game. Willie Got shoots it. a three.
Blanchester I can't, got blocked by the referee. I couldn't see Almost there. Put up Willie Morris gets the rebound. <laughs> referee just stopped right in front of me, and I just blocked everything I could see. Well, we've got a coach there. Sam Jacob Jansky okay. tries and misses. And here comes Blanchester back down the floor. Haig has the ball. Looks down to Tanner, Prager. Throws it inside, lob. We're going to get a foul called no, I think it's before this shot. Don Custis. Custis was fronting him, they lobbed over. And we're going to, yes, it's going to be on the, before this shot. As he came down to catch the ball. Throws it in. We got uh, Sipple with the ball. Three. Three by Haig, I think. That's the second three. Nope, that's, they're they're starting to, they're that's starting second to warm three. up. They're, that's but, two different players. Well, we came down and hit a three after they made a three, so let's see what happens here. 14 point game right now. Custis to Coomer. Coomer to Jacob Yansky. Willie Morris. Throws it in the corner. Jacob Yansky. Oh, I thought it was in. Three. Custis. Rebound Custis gets oh, it blocked block. out. You guys got to forget who's there. And basket foul, and Coomer gets the foul. That's his first, isn't it? Yeah. Coach is not very happy. Back to a 12 point game. So Wilmington will take a uh, timeout here. 38 26, and we still have a free throw to shoot. But if it goes the way of the uh, free throw shooting by the Wildcats, they've yes. not been too good this evening. But they have started hitting the three, so they're waking up a little bit. Right. You know, we're a lot of teams second half playing the bigger school, little school playing the bigger school. Their legs get weak. Well, you have to, you're, you're behind double score almost. You come back out, you could just sort of hang your shoulders. But when Blanchester came out uh, like they were slapped in the face. They're, they're mad, they're coming back to play. Yeah, well, they're, got, they're uh, definitely uh, not giving up, that's no. for certain. Sure. All right, so here is the uh, free throw. Tanner Krager shooting the free throw. He's got seven of their points tonight. We'll see if Coach Noska has uh, straightened the uh, team out. Oh, he actually made it. Made the basket. At no time has Blanchester really tried to put a lot of pressure on uh, bringing the ball in. Cam. And Wilmington missed, rolled off, and then Blanchester gets the rebound, throwing it down quickly, full court. Blanchester's ball handling and passing has got himself in trouble early in the first half. Let's yeah. see what happens They're really here. doing a little better this second half so Bob far. throw inside. There, it looks like that's why they're going to try I, to attack. I think that's the what they're going to do. I think they're going to try to do these lobs, figuring they can use their height, which they should. That's yeah. what Nine-point hurricane lead. Well, get up. Pressure Outside, Blen uh, Jacob Yansky has it. I'm see sorry, I was looking outside, at the score move. sheet there for a second. Test this. Go, go, well, and here comes Blanchard. Well, that was they're shoot, they're back, uh, they're cold right now. Oh, oh Jacob Yansky with a nice steal, coming down the floor, going to go all the way, goes up, gets fouled. Fouled by Le Tanner Krager. Yeah. Mike Noska. Yeah. Exercised. All right, so Sam Jacob Yansky is at the line. He'll be shooting, and uh, Mike Noska uh, going over with the rest of the crew there, what he expects them to be doing here. First one's good. If it comes down to free throws, Wilmington will win this game without a doubt. Yeah. They are the much better free throw shooting team. Sweeney's going to be coming in. Second one is good as well. So, Hurricane lead by 11 now, 40 to 29. 351 remaining in the third period of play. Wildcats going to be bringing the ball in. And here they come. Simple has the ball over the timeline. Looking to drive the middle, getting guarded very well. That was good ball, defense. Ball by knocked Jacob out Yansky. by Blanchester. Three, short. Blanchester gets the rebound again, throws it in quickly. Oh, nice play, nice play. Throws it in quickly to Tanner Krager, and he gets the basket. 
That was a heads up play. Nine point Hurricane lead. Need to keep it there or no get less. Out, get up, get out, get yeah, you don't want to get this down to four or five points. No. You don't want Blanchester to get back in this game. Oh, almost something. threw it away. We hit Cam's hands and just sort of slid through for a second. Coomer right does the ball, looks. Going to hand off to Jacob Yansky. It was around. He brings Let Bear outside. Bear guarding him. I don't know if they're in his zone. They're in his zone. Coomer drives. No, it's not an offensive foul. All right, so that'll be a foul on Blanchester. Number 12, it's not an offensive. That's Tanner, that's his third foul. I said fourth. Is that is that Craig's fourth or third? I've got third, but I, yeah, you've got fourth on there. All right, so he's going to have to come out. That's bad, guys. That's horrible. That's bad. That's really bad. And it makes it. What? <laughs> it hit every part of the rim that I you think, could possibly I, I think it did. Just bing, 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 bing. It's like a, a pinball machine. Okay, second free throw for Cam Coomer. Ten point lead right now. Yep, he has ten points. Eleven. And that's his eleventh. And Big John Stewart coming in the game for Wilmington, giving Custis a break. 42-31, Hurricane in the lead with 2.54 remaining in the third period. Wildcats bringing the ball in. Trapping, got a trap going on here. Sweeney was coming up to help out, but he couldn't get around the guy. Otherwise, he'd have had a steal there. And going to get a foul on Big John. That's going to make him earn him at the foul line. Well, that's the smart thing to do since they're not hitting their free throws right. very well. The only problem is you're stopping the clock. Yeah. Oh, he makes that one. Yeah. Zippel. Well, he's been the best, the best free throw shooter of the uh, Wildcats. Yeah, he's made two. Three. And he made three. So Jacob Yansky comes in for Sweeney. And he'll be uh, throwing the ball in to Cam Coomer. Once again, no pressure by the Wildcats as far as bringing it up the floor. Coomer bringing over the timeline. Turn it over to Willie, back over to Butcher, down in the corner to Jacob Yansky, drives in, throws it back out to Willie. Willie shoots a three. Swish! Back to a 12 point lead. Lanchester's coach, when that three was hit, just thought, whoa. Big nice John. Nice shot. Had nice to go shot. over Big John. Did good defense, but put it in. Who was that, Bear? I couldn't see. Back up by Camp Coomer. No good. Who made that last basket for them? Yeah. Thank you. Shot was missed. Willie Morris, and no foul called. Nope. They're letting him play. And shot, three. long three, air ball. Oh, oh that's a foul on Butcher. Stupid one. foul by Butcher. Yeah. Freeze around trying to knock the ball loose from the backside. Well, not only that, but the, the, the ref was right there. He yeah. could see it clearly. There was no question. It was a foul. Reached around. It's Wilmington's fifth foul to Blanchard's three the second half. And stolen by Butcher. Here yep. comes uh, Holding the Morris. ball high. Bounce underneath, quick. And There's yeah, good call, good call. He got him up, got the call. So 10 point Hurricane Lee, they're gonna be shooting two. That's the fourth foul on the Wildcats. Five for the Hurricane. 116 remaining. Chris Custis makes his first foul shot. One thing I haven't heard from the Blanchester fans you normally hear is call it both ways. 
We haven't had to hear that tonight so far. <laughs> Is that a standard? It's standard. It's, it's a standard. Okay. And you being a ref, you've probably heard it a few oh, times. More than a few. And Quest rolls the next one in. Hurricane definitely are an excellent free throw shooting point team. point lead by Wilmington right now. We've got Haig bringing the ball up the court. Drives in. Quick but stolen. Ball loose. Knocked out of bounds. And he's going to give it to Blanchester. I think Bland was about ready to pick it up, and Sweeney knocked it loose so he couldn't get it. And probably a smart thing because they were right under the basket. Coomer back in for Sweeney. Throw lobs it inside to Sipple, but gets it up the timeline. He wants to shoot. Got it. And airballed oh. it. Airballed it. Yeah, he, it was in the front of the basket. Oh, the guy. Oh, we're going to get a call on Custis. Probably. I thought that was. I thought that was quick. Oh, he's going to call on Coomer. Okay, because I was going to say Custis. Custis sort of, and Coomer were right around. Yeah, him, so. I saw Custis, and I didn't see him really fouling, but I couldn't see Coomer that well. And I think Bland is sort of back to their not handling the ball well. Oh, we're going to get a foul on Willie Morris. The, they, I mean, kids eight feet behind the three-point line shooting well, a long was three. That, was that at, was that a three-point yeah, shot? Yeah, he, yes. He, he hadn't came down yet when he came. So he'll have three opportunities, but once again, we'll, we'll have to see whether their uh, free throw shooting has improved. Well, they're getting enough practice that it should. First and one, no first good. First one's a brick. 49.6 seconds left in the third quarter, 12 point game. They still have two foul shots left. That was a very, very, very bad foul. Second one's good. Misses, makes the second one. You'll have one more. Who was that foul on? Uh, was that on Morris? Yes. That's his third. No. No, no, that was his fourth. Was his fourth? I missed one on him too then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's got four. See it up there? And he misses the third shot, so. So here comes uh, Cam Coomer bringing the ball up the floor. Well, that's right, because he had three fouls the first half, didn't he? Right. You know, there are two things that the Hurricane team as a whole, when you look at them, they are excellent free throw shooting, and they handle the ball exceptionally well. Right. Make some bad mistakes at times. Oh. Travel. Yeah, he's he goes like I right. he wasn't he, he didn't take a step, he slid and unfortunately on the basketball court, if your feet slide, that's a that's a travel. So once again a good call by the ref. Uh, oh man, if you would have been up on that spears. Two pointer. Two po oh, he gave him a three. Give him a three. Is that Haig? Oh, 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 oh. Get up. Oh. No foul, no uh, block. Well, that was clean. All right, so going into the fourth period of play, Hurricane up 47 39. So, eight point Hurricane lead. So a minute ago we had 12, but they scored four in that time. Yeah. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal. You're home for high school, college, and semi-pro sports. And WZAA 106.9, LPFM in Jeffersonville, Ohio. Uh, coming up on our schedule this next Tuesday, we'll be right back here to Fred Summers Court. It'll be tournament basketball for the East Clinton Lady Astros, and they will be playing the lady, the ladies from c &E. and uh, then Wednesday, we will be back to Lakota East, and uh, that'll be Lady Kane versus uh, Mason, and then next Saturday uh, at 3 o'clock, we will be at Mason High School, and that will be your Wilmington boys team, this team that's here tonight, and they will be playing uh, Cincinnati Aiken. That's a three o'clock game. In the, uh, and the one thing, the one thing nice for East Clinton, this is almost like a home game for them. Well, absolutely, the absolutely. Yeah. 
Custis throwing the ball in. Wilmington gets the ball here, coming into the fourth quarter, leading by eight, 47-39. Cam Coomer has the ball, throws it over to Butcher, top left, back over to Sweeney. Well, and Blan Butcher. Blanchester's been, ma they've managed to hang around. It, we're in the fourth quarter, so I don't look for uh, Willie Morris to be out for a long length of time. Now, Wilmington, Wilmington tends to turn it on in the fourth quarter, too. They and, don't usually fall apart. And he's apart. not afraid to play players with four fouls. He's shown that in the past. Butcher has it, going to drive the middle, stops. He slipped it a little Sweeney. bit again. Got Sweeney. it. Three-pointer, Sweeney. They're, they're going to remember Sweeney's name. That's they, three, three baskets for him, all three threes. And stolen by Sweeney. Going to go in for a layup. Left-handed in made it. This coach is going to see Steven Sweeney in his nightmares. Yes. <laughs> Long three. Short. Nice box out by Chris. Krager was short on the three. He's back in. No, it's, um, he's got four fouls. He's back in the game. You know, no sense to keep him on the bench. No, no. When you're behind, no. got to have him out there. He's been hey, one of their main man. Go oh, Butch, Butcher uh, went to dribble, and he lost control of that ball that time. Hey, hey, uh, coach had a little word for him as he walked by. Luckily, we couldn't get it on. Was that microphone. like happy belated Valentine's yeah, Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here comes Blanchester, throws it over. I can't see who has it because of the coach. It's Craig. Number Hague. three. Haig. Turns, drives, turns around. That Haig looks it over so to Bear. young. He, looks so he does, young. doesn't he? And he's a senior. No. Yeah, he's Oh, a nice senior. move. Who was that? Number 12. 12. That was, that's Tanner who's been out with the four fouls. Super nice move he made there. This is... Uh, Cam Coomer back out to, uh, oh, look at this. And wow. well, Chris has been good at that today, I tell you. Fouls on number 10. Oops, I get the basket to the wrong guy. Oh, 22. So, uh, Wilmington is in the, uh, well, and Lanchester will be in the uh, one and one, right? Yep. And yes. uh, Wilmington uh, has got five. Uh, Blanchester has yeah. five fouls, so five they got foul. two more before they and get to the one on one. Chris missed the first shot he's uh, foul shot he's missed tonight. And made the second one. And we have coming in the game Brady Vilvins, the sophomore. And you can identify we him. We identified him as Brady Vilvins. And in Blanchester with the ball. Simple driving. Oh! That's going to be on Custis? Custis, I think. I, I, I thought he just dribbled right into Custis. I mean, it's like. He's got a, he's, he's seeing stars right now. Custis is seeing stars. I mean, he just dribbled into Custis and went up. I mean, to me, it's almost like a charge well, or a five, no call. it's 550 to go. Let's see if their uh, free throw shooting is going to help him. And it's not helping him right now. Simple missed the first one. Here like, comes Sweeney in, and he's coming right back in yeah, for. That That would be, if I looked on anything as far as after the game, that would be Blanchester's. Not only their varsity's uh, failing, it was it was their, uh, their junior varsity failing, too. And he missed them both. And we, oh, Bear went over the back, but they didn't get call the call of laying on the guy's back to get knock that loose. Wilmington gets the rebound. Jacob Yansky has it. 5.40 to go in the game. Dribbling it around. Custis has the top of the key. He's standing there. Nobody guarding him. Bear comes out. Gives it over to Cam Coomer. I think the Hurricane are trying to take a little bit of time off. Cam's been guarded by Tanner Krager, and he's got four fouls. I drive him in. It's and good. puts it in. I thought he got fouled by Bear. No, but puts it in. He still forced it up and made it. Here goes Tanner. He oh, like that's a charge. Yes, and that's his fifth. Yeah, he's out. That's it. Fifth foul. But that was a good sportsman. He, he looked back and said, are you okay? I, you know, I know I plowed into you. Nice sportsmanship. Yep. 
Here comes Cam Coomer bringing the ball down the floor. Is that Ashcraft guarding him now? Ashcraft came in for Tanner Craig. There's Coomer. Oh, puts it up high, bounces off the back flange and drops down. Well, when you go under like that, you've got to put it up extra high. Extra in order to high, make sure you... yeah, because you've got two six four guys in there to smash it down in your face. Yep. Oh. And we got an illegal screen on Ashcraft. Yep. He moved out to get the block. So the Hurricane will have the ball after that illegal screen. Uh, now we get some pressure from the Wildcats. Now they're dropping back. Here comes Coomer bringing the ball up. And yep, he's going to say he's grabbing him right there. You can't do that. Now they've been calling that the whole game either way. If you put a hand out, they've been calling that. Dave. Each team in the bonus with eight fouls each. Coomer going, shooting one and one. Hurricane up by 14 again, 55 to 41. Cam Coomer makes the first free throw. A little more uh, jockeying by the Wildcats coach trying to. Yeah. Uh, well, they've been grabbing our guy every time down the floor, and we don't get a call, but they put their hand on our, we put our hand on there and it gets called. And so Coomer makes them both. Unfortunately, they've called every foul every time a guy puts it out and holds the guy, they've called every time for both teams. Yeah. Ashcraft throwing it in, Wilmington putting on a full court. I'm not really impressed, just full court pickup. Haig's got the ball, being guarded by Sweeney. Oh, yep, you got, oh, you got his wrist. You got his Sweeney. wrist. No. Comes it on. Oh, he called on Sweeney. I thought he called it on um, Coomer. Joe, you got to have sharp eyes. Well, I called the foul on Coomer. I've, so. I've got cat-like eyes, Joe. I couldn't see Sweeney. I got blocked <laughs> from Sweeney. I couldn't even see good, Sweeney. Good answer there, Joe. But I saw Coomer, and Coomer on the wrist, and he's like, I didn't touch him. Yes, you did, Coop Cam. And right. we got uh, Haig shooting. Now he seemed like he was a de decent three throw shooter. And you just jinxed him it. again. Way to go. Thank you. Well, I did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Here right. comes Wilmington getting Wilmington the Wilmington with the 16 point lead and the ball. Morris has the ball. 421. Going to give it to Coomer. Coomer being guarded by Haig. He's going to drive in. Oh, two big guys. I'm going to go back out. Yeah, they want to kill some. Again, you don't have to rush. You don't. Have, Wilmington does not have to rush in to shoot a shot. Well, not with a 16-point lead. No, either. Just, just just drive in. If it's there, it's make, there. Make them come out and foul you. Boop. Wilmington Butcher gets the rebound. Jacob Bianski lost the, got the block shot block. Coomer has it back over to Jacob Bianski. Once he gives it up, he doesn't get it back. Now well, the Blanchester fan woke up. And Morris, again, with four fouls, is back in the game. 335 left in the uh, game here. Coomer going down, banks right. it in. Now, when you can take a couple minutes off the clock and then finally score two points, uh, it that's, breaks that's, the, that's the killer. That yeah, it does. It, it just breaks your back. Haig with the ball, looking, gives it over to Simple, top of the key for Blanchester. He throws it over to Ashcraft, over to the, or no, that was to uh, Wi-Fi. They're going to try to lob it in. Yeah, why lie? And now Haig has it, dribbling around. I can't nice see move, anybody. I'm blocked by a coach and a referee. You'll have to help me here. Right now, Custis yeah. has the ball to Coomer. Coomer bringing the ball up the court. He's going to pass it off to uh, Butcher. Butcher, and, Butcher puts it in. and it's good. 61-41, Hurricane. Timeout, Blanchester. I had a wall of coach and referee. Yeah. Hurricane has a 20-point lead. With one, oh, I started with one minute on the <laughs> We're down to about two-something. I don't know what the exact time is. I want to remind you that our video will be on the Campus Nation website tomorrow afternoon, this video from this game tonight. So Joe, what are yes. you doing after the game? I'm going to B-Dubs. 
I might meet you out there. <laughs> yeah, you might. <laughs> I might help you carry the stuff to the car. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, that, I guess I guess I got to meet you out there then. <laughs> name of this court? Fred Summers. And Fred Summers is sitting, sitting right over sitting there on right the over here. front row. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just zoom in on Fred. What, you, don't get him right now. He's yawning. No, he's not yawning. He's yawning. He's excited by he's this excited. great action. All he, right. Maybe he's going, wow. wow oh, nice, nice pass move. in. Ashcraft with the basket. Wildcats picking his up first basket a little more pressure. Game. That was Ashcraft's first basket of the game. And Custis is guarded. They're Gets trapping. Over, get over to Jake Kibiansky. They're not fouling. They're just guarding close. That's a little too big a lead to, to me to be fouling, put them on the line. 20 points with two minutes. I don't, yeah, I don't and, see Yeah, and Wilmington, you. they're too good at free throws. Jake Kibiansky now with the ball top of the key, being guarded, and now gets the count started. Gets, gets it away. No count. Count started again. Dribbles down. Looks like up. Oh, no, I'm going to give it in to Butcher who puts it in. Two points. Timeout. Wilmington. And uh, Coach Noska just wants to bring in some subs. subs. Yep, here comes the subs. Mr. Anichik and Mr. Stewart coming in the game. We got Sweeney in the game. And we got Morris and Jacob Yansky. So we have seniors that we've brought into the game. And a chick and uh, Stewart. <laughs> Here right. comes uh, Blanchester bringing it up on the floor, Mr. Wiley. Oh, Sweeney almost. Fell. Mr. Haig shoots it, Didn't, not an air ball, it nicked the rim. Haig picked it up, good Ashcraft. pass. Ashcraft, Ashcraft made that basket. That's his second. Oh, nice effort. pass to Stewart. Stewart puts it in. Sweet good Stewart. Job. On his final senior night game, put a nice ball in. Three. Oh, in and out, nice shot by Sipple. Picked up, here comes Anna, check down. Bounce passes to Morris. Willie's holding it up. Gonna go over, over to, to Sweeney. Sweeney. Three! Oh, baby, Sweeney hits another. Timeout, Hurricane. That's 14 points for Sweeney tonight. Four threes and about, and that steal layup. Is that a full timeout? No, 30 seconds. Gotta be full, didn't have any 30s left. Oh, all right. Here comes Blanchester putting in the sub. Usually once the team ahead starts putting in subs and the, the team behind will then do the same. We got Spears in the game, a senior who doesn't get a lot of playing time this year. He's a transfer in uh, at the beginning of the year to uh, from Fairfield, Leesburg Fairfield. When they talked last week, he said he was just happy to be here and uh, uh, it's like going to the big leagues, as he says in his words. All right, Wildcats bring the ball in. So we got the seniors on the court. Minute 15. And stolen by Jacob, Jacob Yansky. Yansky going up. He puts it in. And, and we get a foul call. So the only senior that is not in on the floor right now is Cam Coomer, right? He's a junior. Oh, that's right, he is. Willie Morris. We got him one more Stephen year. Stephen Sweeney, Mar Anichik, and Matt well, we Spears. we got six seniors. Sam Jacob Yansky. Who's not there? John Stewart. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Is Morris out there? He's the other senior. Willie's out no, there. No, Willie's out there. And stolen by Spears. Put it up. Pass to Sweeney. Over to Willie Moore. Oh, they're going to give it to the Wildcats. 
and the chicks out of the game right now. All right, so Marco's not here. He was in a minute ago, and then he came back out. So we got six seniors. We got five, the five, of, the on, five of the men. Still going to be Wildcats ball. 40.7 seconds to go in this ball game. Got number 20 in the game for Blanchester, and that is Brent Hopkins. Throws it into Ashcraft. Throws it over to 20, back to Ashcraft, or no, back to 24, which was, and I have his number. Goes under and stepped on the line. So it'll be Hurricane Ball. I got a player on the floor. I don't have, I got number 30 and number 24. I don't have num names or numbers. I don't even have them in the reserve game. So they probably reserve players that have varsity numbers and I don't have their numbers. All right, but those are for the Wildcats. Right. And we've only got 17 seconds to 16. go, so you don't have to worry. Matt Spears oh. shoots a three. Got Stewart. Stolen by Stewart, gives it over to, get back to Put it up. Spears, and makes it yeah. up the move. 73-45, not that they made the basket, but for boys, the senior, it's his last game in the, with this court, and he hasn't played much all year. I think he can play. Now, he may send out the seniors to talk to us tonight. I don't know. It's senior night. Dude, we're going to make sure Mr. Spears gets on there without making the bucket at the buzzer. 73-45, final score. Well, at least the Wildcats don't have far to drive home. Yeah. So it's not like a long bus ride across the state or something like that. John? So the Hurricane uh, victorious this evening. Uh, good game, 73-45. And of course, this video will be available on the Campus Nation website tomorrow afternoon. We're doing the senior uh, presentation now after the game. Right. Roy's getting his plug in, his microphone, Mr. Microphone here, getting it ready. I thought we were having karaoke. They got senior cheerleaders too. And that, they don't have those marked here, so I don't know which one. They're sitting over there, I believe. Maybe not. Keeley, Allen Keeley or Keeley Allen. Keeley. Oh, they've got little banners to senior cheer. Troy's got him going to. Maybe he's going to turn him around this way so we can all. Uh, oh, we got a um, another guy that uh, helps out with the team. Our stats guy. Our stats guy. Keely Allen, senior for Wilmington.
gifts to our routines. She has worked to find a balance between school and representing Wilmington cheerleading. After graduation, she plans to attend college and double major in art education and fine arts. Olivia is thankful for her parents and grandparents for always being there for her. She would like to thank Mrs. Henry for being the best role model, coach. What are they doing? She would also like to thank all of the wonderful cheerleaders. Giving him one final job as a senior to do. Ladies and gentlemen, Olivia. Oh, they want him to record it on Huddle. Yeah. <laughs> So he's quickly setting up the huddle cam. So he can get himself on. This time I'd like to introduce varsity head coach Mike Nutska. They've got the Serbian flag over there. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. He's a fan favorite.
Jacob Yansky. got to have the grades. Yes, you do. Day. And that is a school that requires grades. He's a very improved player. Yes. Yeah. And if his dad's listening, he's a lot better player than his dad ever was. <laughs> Sorry, Ken. Jack's last name. <laughs> Say, 
with Willie the Last. <laughs> Got a big, big giant head of him over in the stands. East. 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 Go to East. Think anybody's going to be coming over after? No, 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 no. We're not going to have any interviews tonight. But we want to thank everybody for listening. And of course, tomorrow uh, we will have this video on CampusNation.com. So for Joe Davis, for yours truly, Rick Phillips, thank you for listening tonight. Good night, everybody, from Fred Summers Court, Wilmington High School, Wilmington, Ohio. <laughs>